They walked, climbed, drove, and even tumbled. 25 robots from around the world tested their abilities to aid in disaster recovery at the DARPA Robotics Challenge. The two-day contest sponsored by the U.S. Defense Department was inspired by the 2011 Fukushima nuclear meltdown. We'd like to see something like RoboSimian going places that are just not safe for humans. Uh, Fukushima, you just couldn't send a person in there for more than 15 minutes without getting too much radiation. The robots competed on an obstacle course with eight challenges, including opening a door, driving, turning a valve, and navigating debris. But perhaps the most challenging task? Picking up the drill and cutting a hole in the wall. Uh, that takes a lot of different sophisticated actions to, to happen, and so doing that reliably is a, is a big challenge. DARPA also simulates communications problems between the robots and their operators during the runs. We know from recent disasters where people tried to use robots that communications was horribly degraded. So we knew that we needed robots that would be able to do simple functions by themselves. Carnegie Mellon's program director Herman Herman says their chimp robot is able to do a lot of its work without human interaction. Many of the processing, many of the control have to be done locally on the robot itself. They point to the tool, but the robot uses its eyes to locate the tool and to move the arm and hand to grab that tool, right, by itself. But these are all tasks teams have had years to prepare for. DARPA officials added surprise obstacles each day that required teams to problem solve on the fly. Today, it's unplugging uh, something from a socket. Again, something that's easy for humans, hard for robots. The teams had people lined up to run to Home Depot, buy those, buy those parts, and they, you know, they're in their garage shops now, having their robot practice this new task that's popped up. It was South Korean team KAIS that ultimately won the top prize of $2 million. In first place, Team Geist. But that's just a fraction of the money many of the teams already spent on their box. Far more money could come to those teams that are able to sell their technologies for outside applications. RoboSimian is actually the latest of a line of limbed robots that came from NASA applications. Uh, so systems that were intended to go around spacecraft or other planets. I spoke to a friend of mine who's about my age, and she has an older parent who's you know, really struggling at, at late in her life. And my friend said, I would love to have a robot who could gently take care of me and help me uh, as my body starts degrading. There's still a long way to go, but from healthcare to space travel, if these teams have their way, a future filled with humanoid robots may be within our grasp.